Hello everybody, what's up? This is Tim again. I figured I would do one more review before I get started with my Texas Chainsaw Mask reviews uh, sometime in the near future. Uh, but I recently saw the film Graveyard Shift for the first time in a long ass time. Uh, I watched it online for free, so I don't have the DVD. But I figured I'd just, you know, fuck it and get together and do a review for it. <laughs> well, I don't mean literally fuck it, but I mean get together and do it. And, well, I mean just say fuck it and get together and do a review for it. But anyway. Um, as far as this film goes, it's based off a of Stephen King short story. Uh, I've never read the short story, but any time a short story is translated to the screen, it's usually stretched out to fucking back, and they gotta lengthen it like a shitload <laughs> of chewing of the corn comes to mind. But anyway, it's a story about like a giant, uh, I mean, well, as far as the movie goes, the story of it is this uh, guy named Warwick, or Warwick, I mean, owns a uh, textile factory in this shit heap of a town. <laughs> And uh, he uh, people work there loading cotton or whatever the fuck. And um, there's some big like fucking giant rat creature that lives underneath the cemetery that they like roams it and comes into the fucking textile factory and eats people every now and then. It looks like a rat, but it's got a tail like a well, it's got a tail like a rat. Kind of has a body like one, but it has wings like a bat and a fucking uh, face kind of like a bat. Like, I guess we'll just call it bat rat. I'll just call it bat rat. That makes more sense. The bat rat. But anyway, uh, I guess it's some sort of mutation, but whatever. Uh, so uh, he owns this textile factory. Uh, Warwick himself, I mean, he's a dick. He, uh, the, who I don't know the actor who plays him. I don't recognize him from anything else. He has a really fucking thick accent. <laughs> and, well, an over-the-top accent in this film. Uh, but he's one of the highlights of this movie for me. I'll just, be right, just say it right off. I don't like this movie. I think this movie's a piece of shit. And I'll just go ahead and give my rating. It's a one, a one star and a half film. I have a possible four. This film sucks. But anyway, and I, I, I say that too with sadness because I thought this this movie has more potential than it uses. But anyway, so Warwick is a, a dick. I mean, um, he tries to get let, uh, get female co-workers to fuck him so he can, uh, or female workers uh, to fuck him so they can get off the clean crew. <laughs> So I guess he's just like a horny dick, <laughs> whatever kind of dick is there. But anyway, so uh, there's this guy at the beginning of the film. He's uh, loading cotton, I guess it is, in the textile plant, and uh, he starts fucking throwing rats in there. His acting is horrible. Uh, I'll just call him asshole number one. His acting is shit. Uh, <laughs> and I guess the big fucking rat doesn't like what he's doing to the little rats. The big fucking rat shows up. A bat rat, I mean, shows up. Uh, it's a little suspense to it. He turns around. He thinks it's Warwick, the big fucking bat rat, knocks him into the machine. You can see some chopped up body parts. It's an okay death scene. Nothing to write home about. They build it up for just a matter of seconds. It's okay. You don't see the big bat rat creature yet, so they're saving it, putting it in the shadows until later on in the film. Uh, so basically after that, uh, they're hiring for work at the uh, textile factory, um, or textile mill, I mean. Um, the fucking, this drifter comes into town named Hall. Uh, he's looking for work. Uh, there's big cliches here. As soon as he gets into town, these people who are obviously uh, going to be characters that he's going to have a lot to do with in the film are just dicks to him for no reason whatsoever. You actually get Andrew Devoff in this film, who genre fans, or genre fans know from the uh, fucking Wishmaster films, which I do enjoy, and I like Andrew Devoff, but he doesn't do shit here. He's useless. Um, he plays a dick, and he's got this fat guy who's with him who kind of like seems like he's psychotic a little bit. He's a dick. He likes to spray people with a fucking hose a lot, and rats too. <laughs> he seems a little bit off kilter, and uh, they're automatically a dick to John. I mean to Hall. I think his first name is John. I don't know for sure, but I'll just call him Hall just so I'll hopefully he won't look stupid. But anyway, <laughs> so they're just a dick to Hall. Um, and uh, he gets a job at the. He goes to apply for the job at the textile uh, plant uh, fucking he meets Warwick um, Warwick says okay join up I don't like drifters but fuck it you're hired uh, and he gets the job there gonna find out Andrew Devoff and the fat dude both work there too uh, and they're both assholes to him to the whole movie for no reason whatsoever it's never explained they're just dicks because he just happened to walk into the bar or whatever where they were at the wrong time <laughs> okay so they're dicks to him the whole time while he's working there um, there's another girl in the movie, I mean, there's a girl in the movie who works there too, and Warwick keeps trying to fuck her, but she keeps shooting him down, so he keeps, uh, putting her on shit duty at work, um, 
There's another girl there that works there too that does fuck Warwick, and he gives her like uh, a petter job. But uh, then she finds out that he's uh, gonna put her on shit duty too. She gets mad, takes axe to his car. Uh, he gets ready to beat the fuck out of her. Hall stops him. <laughs> and it's okay scene, but her acting is bad when she's busting up the vehicle. I'll just tell you right off, most acting is film is utter shit. Hall, the guy who plays Hall, his acting, I don't know the actor's name, but he's he's decent. I don't really think I've seen him in anything else. He has a little bit of charisma. Uh, he's much better than most of the other actors here. Uh, the female in the film, I think, uh, I forget her name, uh, but so that was fucking Donna or something. I don't know. Uh, but, um, uh, it's, I don't think it's Donna. It's something else, but I forgot because that's about how memorable her character is. And the actress's acting is just utter shit. She tries to like, uh, and Warwick's like hitting on her, trying to get her to fuck him, and uh, he basically, she basically like tells him she doesn't want anything. Step off, man! And this just comes out and sounding like utter shit. Her acting does, and it is shit. <laughs> An already shitty film. Uh, the bat rat creature, though, he looks good. Uh, animation wise, special effects, he looks really good. Uh, he's worthy of a better film. Uh, I like practical effects, and yes, he's worthy of a better film. Uh, you got Brad Dorf in this movie, too, before I forget. Uh, uh, he plays an over-the-top exterminator. He's a lot of fun. He gives a speech to Hall while Hall is uh, working. Uh, Hall's shooting rats with fucking soda cans with a slingshot. <laughs> and he gives a speech to Hall about rats and how, like, how much he hates them and <laughs> when he was in the war or whatever. And it's pretty funny. Brad Dourif uh, should have been the star of this film. His character is more interesting than the other characters. And he's uh, much more enjoyable to watch. And he's very over the top and a lot of fun. Um, but basically, um, so Hall's working there. And he's working with the two douchebags. Andrew Devoff and the fat guy. And the fat guy is slightly psychotic. I'll just call him psychotic fat guy. But <laughs> anyway. Um, so Hall starts to hit it up with the worthless female co-worker. Whose name I can't even remember because her acting sucks so bad. Uh, Warwick doesn't like this kind of thing because he's like, it's my piece, step off, fuck face. Uh, <laughs> um, so then after that, the uh, dumb shit who uh, was busting up Warwick's car, the other female worker who's busting up Warwick's car, the axe, comes back to try to get some information and to blackmail him. Uh, she simply just falls down the stairs on a random accident, <laughs> and the rat creature shows up and just like zooms into its mouth. Bam, she's dead. Death scene. Wow. Just amazing. Pitiful. <laughs> Fucking worthless kill. And then after that, you got uh, Warwick wanting to clean up all the rats around there, so he's uh, he pays Brad Dourif's character to go take care of some night rats for night work or whatever. And Brad Dourif goes that way, kind of blackmails him a little bit, tells him he's going to lose his job because uh, he's been pumping rats out into the fucking rivers, water supply of the town or whatever. Uh, so Brad Dourif agrees to go do it, and he's going to take care of some rats. Brad Dourif has a little dog. His dog goes missing. And Brad Dourif's death scene in this film is just utter shit. Uh, it's probably the, one of the worst fucking things about the movie because his character is the most likable and he just he just doesn't even get killed by the creature he just walks in there the fucking ground comes out under him and he gets his head crushed by a tombstone bam it's over that almost makes me want to hate this movie I mean extremely a lot I already don't like it but this makes me just want to burn it piss on the ashes but anyway so he's dead completely wasted and talented actor and great character completely wasted pissed away uh, uh, okay back to the plot um uh, um, fuckface, uh, Hall, I mean, <laughs> uh, is saving this other worker from the fat bastard or fat psycho or psycho fat guy or whatever because he's trying to squirt him with the hose that he uses to spray rats away. So he saves the other worker from him because <laughs> so, so he won't spray him. He gets in the way and stops the psycho fat guy. Um, Warwick has, a, a, like I said, the Warwick character, he has a lot of funny lines in this movie, like just his accent alone, like um, Hall shooting rats. Uh, he shoots a, he thinks somebody's, a rat's coming up behind him, he shoots a can, and he turns around as Warwick, and he's like, I thought you were a rat, and he says, you wouldn't be the first. <laughs> Basically, he's sounding kind of like that, accent-wise, but it's, it's pretty fucking funny. Um, so then Hall discovers, like, this underground fucking, uh, cavern <laughs> underneath the place, or something like that. Um, so they want to go investigate, Warwick goes down there with them. Oh, and before I forget, one other funny ass Warwick line is when this uh, one of the workers is doing like an impression of him, making fun of him, and he walks in, he's like, "Bravo, now we'll get you the additional star search." And it's like so fucking funny. It's, this movie's like uh, hilariously bad in a good way. If I could give, if I could like the movie more if I could just 
watch it as like a movie so shitty it's good but i'm i gotta grade it as a real film and it just sucks uh so they all okay back to where i was they all go down into the underground uh, little cavern or whatever uh when they get down there psycho fat guy falls through the steps the fucking bat rat gets down into the water and eats him and kills him it's pretty entertaining nothing exciting not overly gory but it's okay uh, so then they, Warwick and uh, Andrew Deboff run off with the other co-worker, and then, uh, Hall and, uh, the female co-worker stay, stay there, basically. Uh, then, for some reason, Warwick starts acting like he's went insane and takes some old, like, wine bottles and fucking covers his face with some, uh, uh dirt or ashes or something. Makes it look like he's just went crazy, and he just wants to kill Hall and the, the female co-worker, I guess, because he didn't get any from her, and he wants to kill Hall just because he did get some, I guess, I don't know. Whatever this film is so badly underwritten, it feels like it was under. It feels like the whoever wrote the script for this movie uh, rewrote it a couple times or something like that, and just like condensed it to make it simpler for thinking horror movie audiences. Audiences members are stupid. I kind of see this in a lot of other films too, horror wise. But anyway, so he starts covering his face, uh, makes himself up. Uh, then he wants to kill Hall and uh, female coworker, and then. They take off, uh, and then the other co-worker that's with Warwick and Andrew Devoff sticks his hand in his hole. We all know it's going to happen. It's a huge horror movie cliche. He gets his fucking hand ripped off. And then dies off screen. Big whoop. <laughs> then later on, uh, well, Andrew Devoff freaks out and doesn't want to go anymore. He just wants to sit there. Uh, Warwick falls down his fucking hole. It's pretty, and I, well, not, I wouldn't say epic, but it's pretty entertaining. He falls down and lands on all these bones where it's like the creature's nesting around or whatever, where all these skulls and shit are. I guess it's skulls and stuff from the graveyard that's been eating the corpses, or it's just like a fucking shitload of dead bodies because this thing's existed forever or a long ass fucking time. It's like an ancient bat rat or something. But anyway, so Hall and uh, the female co worker are like, a, they get into the water and they're like holding onto a coffin and shifting through the water and then they make their way basically to the same place where Warwick is uh, Warwick jumps out he's psychotic now for some unknown reason he was just a jackass before but now he's completely insane oh uh, before I forget Andrew Devoff he just uh, flips out and just gets killed off screen you don't even see the death so it's another off screen death so who gives a fuck uh, <laughs> okay back to uh, Warwick and uh, Hall and he's fighting Hall it's an okay fight, nothing exciting. It's kind of over the top with Warwick leaps like <laughs> through the air towards him. It's really over the top. <laughs> and then they, they fight for a while. The female co worker grabs Warwick from behind. And he actually stabs the shit out of her like from behind, like that, like back that way. <laughs> it's like fucking fatality. And I'll, and I'll be honest, the movie kind of surprised me here because I wasn't expecting her character to die. Because normally the female survives these the slasher films and horror films. And creature feature films like this, I guess you could label it because it's giant bat ran in it, killing people. <laughs> but she dies, uh, which kind of surprised me. Uh, and after that, Warwick runs off and he runs into the bat rat creature and he can just turn around and go back, but for some reason he's just like, let's go to hell! <laughs> Completely over the top. And he just charges the fucking bat rat for no reason whatsoever just to die with it. And it's so over the top and badly acted. <laughs> but it's hilarious. And he just charges it and the fucking creature like wraps him up in his wing and he likes biting at it <laughs> before it pulls him down and he's killed well you get to see him cut up but he basically completely dies off screen uh before i forget there was another death in the movie uh sometime in the i believe it was the beginning of the second act maybe the creature kills another worker uh by wrapping him up in his wing, basically, and it's okay, kind of suspenseful, it's nothing amazing. Pretty much like the way he kills Warwick, but except with uh, all the extra blood and stuff, I think there's more blood when, he, when it kills Warwick, but anyway. So that was an entertaining death scene too, and when he kills Warwick, uh, it's an okay death scene, but it kind of hurts because of the way it's done. I mean, with Warwick just charging the creature, it's just pretty fucking stupid. But anyway, then Hall shows up, Warwick's dead, Hall just magically finds the way out after that, makes his way back up to the textile plant, or factory or whatever the fuck you want to call it plant i should say um he's there the creature jumps out the big bat rat does uh it tries to attack him he hooks it it's that okay nothing special and then uh the fucking creature gets his tail caught in the machine uh i actually like the idea that the creature's gonna get ground up by the machine which is pretty neat um the machine that cuts up the cotton or whatever 
So uh, he shoots a, a can, hits the button, turns the machine on. The machine fucking pulls the creature by the tail into the machine, which is pretty it, pretty fun. I mean, at first, with the creature like bleeding out its mouth and everything, and fucking screaming and all that shit, and then getting obliterated in the machine, getting ground up. But then it just, uh, you don't even get to see it completely ground up. It just skips to the next scene, bam, and its head is just laying there, and it's dead, just a skull. And it's like, what the fuck? Don't even bother a movie. If, if you can't do it right, why even bother trying to do it? Why don't you just do something else? But anyway, uh, the creature looks good. The bat rat creature looks fine. Uh, Andrew Devoff, actor-wise, he's okay. He just plays an asshole. He's just there. He amounts to nothing. The fat psycho guy, he's just there. He amounts to nothing. Uh, he's just, they're just, him and Andrew Devoff are both just assholes for no reason whatsoever. Um, uh, Hall, our hero, he's okay. He's nothing exciting or interesting or anything. But, uh, I mean, he's fine. No, he's got the actor has some okay charisma. Warwick is funny as fuck, even when he's acting bad. Even when his acting is bad, I mean he's entertaining. The female uh, co-worker in here, the female lead, I don't even know her name or remember her name. She, her acting was atrocious. She's just, I could give a fuck less about her. She's just there. But anyway. So as far as this film goes, I would give it a one and a half stars out of a possible four. This is a film that should be remade. I hate remakes, and I'm not in favor of them because they always remake movies that are already fine to begin with. But if they want to make a, sit, a shit sandwich movie, then this is definitely the one to do it with. This creature in here, the Bat Rat, I like the design. It deserves a better film, and hopefully this fucker will get remade and he'll get in a better film. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this film sucks. Brad Dorf is wasted. Uh, the acting is mediocre to atrocious. Everybody except the the Hall, the hero, uh, and Warwick. He's he's okay. His accent is so over the top though that it's just fucking annoying sometimes. But he's so fucking funny that you just can't help but root for the guy because he's just fucking hilarious. But anyway, this movie sucks, and I'll see you guys again with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre reviews. Uh, and and yeah, this is definitely a movie with a creature that's worthy of a better film. But yeah, I'll see you guys later and see you during the Texas Chainsaw Mask reviews. And peace out. And uh, be real surprised if you enjoyed this movie. <laughs> see you guys later.